We'll give it a minute. <laughs> well, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to the special night of the OT Hockey Show. We got Monday night with Hoser Cards, a.k.a. Spine Kick. What's Welcome up, boys? Welcome to the show, buddy. Thank you so much. Take off. Thank you for coming on. Take off, eh? That's right. Those are cards here. I love it. Such a great name. <laughs> Thank you. Now, I mean, is that, I guess, what it, it was it the movie that ultimately just yes. right away you're like, dude, I know what it's going to be. Yeah. Strange Brew. I own it. I love it. Steamroller. Great movie. <laughs> when, when I started the channel, <laughs> I had a clip of Strange Brew on the channel. As like my only upload for like years, and I deleted That's it. Awesome. I wish I had it. Now. Oh no! <laughs> I'll, I'll steamroll you, eh? Yeah. Take oh off, man, eh? I love that movie. It's so great. Yeah. So as always, we'll start giving a shout out to some of the people that are here tonight. We got Maiden's World of Wax. My buddy lives two hours away. Thank you. Appreciate Maiden. You coming. And we have Hoser Cards himself in the chat. We got Southern Boys. Thanks for coming, Southern guys. Boys. We got our buddy who made the banner for the new OT hockey show in the box. That's right, right there. ITB. We have Perch. I'll let you in. Oh, my mom's watching. One. Let's go. Perch, you we got, yeah, we Perch got Papa Southern and Baby Bear. Bear. Papa. Yes, my wife. Love it. Thanks for coming. We got Lady Sith Lordly in the house. From Let's Disneyland. go. She's at Disneyland right now. Is she? <laughs> yeah. She's so... Let me tell you something, bro. That on your show on Saturday night, she is one of the nicest people that is in that chat. She's always given love. Um, I, I love it. I think she's just absolutely great. And so, yeah... You're you're a lucky man, my friend. I appreciate that's it. awesome to have that support. We my all wife, appreciate my her. Yeah, she's awesome. We got CCB in the house. What's going on, buddy? Let's go. We got CCB. oil collector. Oil collector, what's going on? We got got Zach. Let's go, Zach attack. Thrashers, bro. Yeah, Thrashers, yeah. bro. Thrashers for life. So, oil collector must be an Oilers, bro, right? Yeah. Oil. Oh yeah. He just okay. he just hit a big. You're gonna love this. He hit a huge one of one Connor McDavid oh. from stature on Friday night break, and it is a beautiful card. That's awesome. Congrats, man. That's so great. Well, I hope he sticks around for what I got to show tonight, right, Perchy? You oh, he's gonna he he's gonna love it. Definitely stick around, oil collector, because Hoser Card has some fire. Yes, he does. Thanks, thanks, oil collector, Jordan Everly, number fourteen. <laughs> Goza. Oh my Rangers, bro! My Rangers, bro! Goza, all the way from England. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Yeah, that's great. See another international show. You gotta love it. Yeah. That we do. We it almost feels in the chat. It almost feels quiet having Hoser on because I'm so used to like the chill <laughs> music going on, <laughs> like during the shout-outs. Yeah. I'm like, man, it's we need some jams going on. I love that. It's ambient, right? Yeah, although StreamYard's got some built-in music if you look there on the Oh, below. do they? Yeah, we'll like, have to look. Yeah, it's, it's what we were listening to backstage. You're like, is that copyright? No. Oh, that, yeah, yeah. That's, that's all right. Available to yeah. Oh, Robert got, Springs, what's going oh, on? Nice. Springs in the house. Robert. Appreciate you coming. Let the chat get rolling. Um, big night tonight. We got a lot of stuff to show. Got some packs to rip open. We yeah, this is a, for our guest right here. Appreciate Have it. A I great got, night. Got one right back there too. And I did. Uh, I did the double duty for you since you're wearing the, uh, wearing the LA hat. I knew that was gonna make oh, an appearance, nice. so I decided to bring out the Stanley Cup championship hat for you. Excellent. Yeah, little little Los Angeles fire for you. 
Speaking of Los Angeles, it's typically warm and I don't wear jerseys indoors. And I'm like, damn it, I, I forgot to turn on the air conditioning. <laughs> I'm like, usually I'm like, Lady Sith, can you turn the air on? So I may have to go turn it up, uh, turn it down in a bit. <laughs> yeah, is it, does it get pretty, like, is it pretty hot right now? Like as you're getting into the spring or what's usually like the average temperature in March yeah. and April? I mean, I'd say like, you know, anywhere from like 60 to 75, something like that. Okay. You know, it's still wow, like yeah. minus three here. I, yeah. I mean, I'm a 24 seven shorts wearer. So, like, I got <laughs> shorts on all, in the winter, in the spring, you name it. That's nice. great. You got to be comfortable. That's oh, what it's yeah. all about. Yeah, yeah. you got to be comfortable for sure. Especially, you know, during the Rona times when we we're all indoors and growing mullets and stuff. I mean, I, I lost all <laughs> sense of fashion then. <laughs> I, um, Funny story, I actually had my <laughs> girlfriend, because my hair is so long, she put it in the cornrows. <laughs> nice. I, I'd like to do that, too. <laughs> you, you have any I was photos? like, let's just try it for one time, just to see. <laughs> that looked, blast. That looked great on an upper deck card. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we got Titus in the house. What's going on, Titus? Titus. In Japan. All the way from Japan. Love it. All right. Perch, what do you say? Should we jump into Perch's Corner while the chat's still coming in? Yeah, we could do some Perch's Corner for sure. We got, I'm a little unprepared today, to be honest with you. We got Dirk in the house. Dirk Remington. Oh, what's up, Dirk? Have with yeah, you at Dirk. a bar fight. <laughs> That's great. We'll move you up to yeah, the so on, stage there. Yeah, for sure. Just doing Modern a little notes here. Cards. Hey, what's going on? All right. So, Purchase Corner. We got... We're going to give Julie Julie Farnham a big shout out. She's uh, kind of the angel of the hockey card community. She loves all sports, to be honest with you. Like, she's big into baseball. She uh, did a video today where she was uh, krill hunting again. Nice. And... Uh, I, I suggest you go watch it because she's been on that hunt for a while. And uh, I hope she pulls it because she's so nice. She always sends everyone some awesome mail and um, all around the world from Leafs fan down under to Freedom Suffer lives in the Netherlands, which is great. We're going to do uh, Zach's uh, channel as well because um, we're going to end up having him come on. Here next, what this is that? Friday. A couple weeks from now. This Friday. This Friday. So Zach's sports cards and collectibles, and then we're gonna do Papa Bear and Baby Bear. Give. The, oh, look at that! Rip them all, here. What's up, Rip them? Just was talking about the one one that you ripped on the big break on Friday. But yeah, Papa Bear and Baby Bear. He's awesome, man. He's he's great. We're gonna open up some mail from him. Got a nice little mail day here. And uh, tons of sports cards, well, hockey cards specifically, of course. And uh, we'll get into that. But that's that's purchase corner for this this Monday. Nice, awesome, like a pro. You said you were unprepared, man. That that was great. I don't have any rants this <laughs> Thanks, week, bro. so there's no no penalty box. <laughs> <laughs> no penalty box. <laughs> no penalty box this week. Maybe Friday. What? We'll let the week through here a little bit. If Shesterkin doesn't play good, then we might blow up, but we'll see. You take it out on somebody else, huh? Yeah, definitely. Um, yes, tonight's going to be fun, guys. We've been watching be you on for a while and finally got you. Hey, I'm I'm stoked to be here with my hockey bros. It's going to be a great Love show. It. We got cars, we got PCs, it is. we got PSA. 10 showing we got everything going on tonight so make sure you all stick around for it. it's gonna be a fun night um like we do always we're gonna move the guests to the main stage and let him introduce himself and talk a bit about his uh channel hey well yeah i see a lot of friends there in the chat uh, first of all i just want to say bros thanks so much for having me on uh you know from the minute we met like we connected up right I invited you guys into Instagram Hockey Bros chat, and we've been in there chirping every day. Uh, a lot of you guys know me as Spine Picks. 
Yeah, and um, but nobody ever knew about Hoser Cards. I created this channel like two years ago as a refuge from the big channel, right? Where I can just go and be anonymous and do some pack ripping and stuff. And no one knew who I was. But when I met you guys, I was like, oh, these are my my hockey kindred. I got to tell them about Hoser Cards. And I resurrected it because I hadn't done anything on that channel. It's hockey only. So there's no cats. There's no toys. There's no dogs. There's nothing that you see on spine ticks. It's only hockey because I'm a huge hockey fan. I collect all kinds. I collect all the sports, but hockey is my favorite. And Lady Sith and I had um, season tickets for the Ducks for a number of seasons. We went to all the games, all the playoffs. Uh, and I see National Park Princess there. Feel oh, free to, yeah. And Sensei, feel free to interrupt me, man. The sensei. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Sensei, appreciate you coming out. The man with the smooth voice. National Parks Princess, another just gem to the community. She's and so kind. She's legend. so sweet. The and then Julie Charlie. popped in. Thank you so much. No cats. Yes. The reason hey, I see you know, Julie, no, no cats. I, you know, I knew. <laughs> it's an inside joke, right? Julie, I love cats so much that that's been one of the complaints about spine ticks. You got a lot of, you got a lot of cats on the, <laughs> on the channel. So, so Julie, if you want cats, come over to spine ticks. There's my, my bro Papa there, uh, you know, referencing some some mafia culture there. We were talking about that, man. I appreciate that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so Spine Ticks is the big channel you guys know. I started it four years ago. And at the same time, I started a channel called PSA Tendencies, which was a sports. It was like this. But the comic book channel took off and the sports one did not. So that's why there's Spine Ticks today and not so much PSA Tendencies. And over time, that comic book channel of Spine Ticks has evolved into what you know it to be today. But I, you know, like I said, I got this Hoser Cards alter ego just for hockey. And now, you know my secret. Love it. And you pulled this fire is epic, like almost re premiere of it. Uh, yeah. Well, I never went live as Hoser Cards. So it's only fitting it's with you guys, you know, and, and this, this is a uh, chat. 100%. Oh, this is great. You. You have been ripping some fire, bro. Like honestly, I've been, I've been, I literally have watched every single short, and I'm like, man, where is he getting these packs at? I need some of this on my side. I'm doing pretty it. well, though. I mean, I, <laughs> yeah, I burned you're welcome. through like during during Rona, right? You know, like we would, you know, when there was a card shortage and stuff. I tell Lady Sith every time you go to Walmart or Target, just bring home whatever you can find, and I and I had hordes of it. Since I brought Hoser cards back, I've been ripping through all the back inventory. So I told you guys, I finally now have had to buy new, uh, you know, sealed wax to, to rip through because I've gone through all those cards. <laughs> and the way I look at the packs for YouTube is it's a way to build my subscribers on the shorts feed, right? Mm -hmm. You know, because my mm -hmm. collecting, I, I do like to rip packs, obviously, and I like raw cards, but I specialize in PSA graded cards, uh, like you see behind me, like over here. Yeah. And the boxes, and I, I'm hoping to show you guys some of the the heavy hitters tonight. Uh, but I, I do love pack ripping in 15 seconds on the shorts feed because it brings in subs every night, and you get you get like real hockey people who are interested yeah. in that stuff. So that's what I'm interested in. Yeah, no, definitely. And so, how, like, I guess, uh -huh. what made you start? What made you ultimately start the channel? Like, when did you start um, yeah. Spine Ticks? Ultimately. I started Spine Ticks in 2020. So I had been around, I was mostly around the comic book community on YouTube. And, you know, I created, uh, the, not to confuse everyone with yet another account, but Sith Lordly is, you know, people call me Sith. You hear that all the time because I was Sith Lordly. What's up, sports card ripping teacher? What's up, Vince? Right. So I was, I was in the chat, just a chat guy, a Sith Lordly watching comic book channels. And I said, hey, I could do this. I could talk about stuff. So it's always more fun with your friends, just like you guys are doing now. So I created Spine Ticks in 2020 and, you know, a lot of coming and going of personnel, but you see who's on there now. And what's up, Budget Rips? Um, but budget like I said, Rips. I've always liked cards. I mean, I'm, I'm, I've been collecting cards all my life. So I created PSA Tendencies, which is another channel. And we did some live stuff on there, but it never quite took off. So... Um, I created Hoser cards because when you have a, 
you know, like a pop in live chat and Maiden knows, right? You know, you got a great chat. Sometimes it's nice to kind of be anonymous and kind of fade into just another channel where you can rip packs and not deal with a lot of stuff. And and so I created Hoser mm -hmm. cards in 2022 for that reason. Awesome. That's awesome. That's yeah. great. Yeah. I really love that. What you guys do on, on Saturday nights, you know, and so I can imagine having a little bit of an outlet for your, for your sports, you know, is, is gotta be, gotta be nice. But I, I mean, I'm a comic guy myself. I don't have like, huge collections like you guys do but definitely some gems that i picked up like a lot of the ones i showed you i've had since i was a kid to be honest with you yeah, and I mean, uh you named your kid we'll buy a couple here and there um you know for my son's room because his room is yeah yeah it's decked out and all wolverine stuff so it's pretty yeah. epic i made him uh the most uh the most fun room I could think of, you know, <laughs> for a little guy. So I love comics, but you know, you love hockey more when you start to think about, well, if I sold these comic books, I can buy this young gun, <laughs> you know, and you start to think, okay, let me scale back some of the bulk of the comp. Like all this is comic books right here. Like you can see that's a whole comic <laughs> and even more, oh, you know, hockey cards takes up a lot less space. Right. Um, so I was trying yes. to figure out how the hobby can pay for itself. <laughs> which is recently you know i did a few upgrades as you saw this last week i upgraded some psa nines to tens and i you know leveraged some trades and other things to get get those cards yeah no definitely it's just like by watching the shorts too you do like perk said pull a ton of fire like oh well, thanks between i think you and julie like <laughs> Everyone else is here. Oh, you got, I haven't pulled a Bedard. The tone there. You guys are killing it. Like, you want to throw away your Bedard, and then Perchy's got an embarrassment of riches of Bedards. <laughs> I don't have a Bedard. Yeah, no. Seven in total. It's been, uh, it's been a lot of fun getting those. Yeah. One that, one that everyone can get is the star rookie. So if you, if you're, Lucky enough, those have been kind of flying off the shelves. They they always come out with a star rookie set every year. Um, I have, you know, Kane and Taves. I got McDavid's. Um, I got a few other players as well. But that one, everyone can attain pretty affordably, which is which is nice. Um, it's the OPG of this year that's really hard to get. Um, I got lucky and, and got them in a, you know, a hanger pack for – you know, $5.99 at Target. So um, I was, I'm still looking for the retro, which I would love to get um, just to kind of complete that set a little bit. Obviously in hobby boxes, there are some different variants that you can get as well. Some numbered, um, some foil and, and then, yeah, I got lucky with uh, ripping the series two. And again, it was crazy going to the store and finding one hidden on the shelf after this whole chaotic scene had broken out in front of me where these guys are like yelling at this lady for scooping up all the tins and like that i just couldn't believe it it's the first time i've ever seen it you know it, it we're talking about a card right like yeah it's just a card man like what do we <laughs> well, like what are we doing here i i, I was kind of blown away at it and but i got lucky i had two tins and so i pulled two glossies and then I, yeah, I got the young guns and pretty stoked about it. You know, I, I would love to get maybe the young gun graded at some point, but, um, I still yeah, I got lucky to see the chat's reaction when I pull a Bedard and he goes flying. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Everyone's going to come, come for you. <laughs> I saw Aaron popped in sports cards and things. And of course my cottage broke Callie and Jordan squad in the house. What's up, Callie and Jordan squad? Sports cards and things. What's going on? You Perchy. guys wisdom teeth, though. Hopefully, uh, a little bit more coherent this live. Oh, okay. Uh, since uh, DM's wearing that uh, that sweater there, you, you want me to go ahead and show the first card? You yes, stage, let's go. Friend. Yes. All right. I made a goal of I wanted four things. One of them was not sports oriented, but three things were sports oriented. I've now achieved two of the goals. I had a PSA nine young guns of this player and that's great, but I love the PSA tens. So recently the tax return was pretty good and I decided now's the time. 
Vogs, so, what's going on? What's up, Vogs? So DM, DM, since you're wearing that sweater, who do you think I have a PSA 10 of? I'm going to have to say it's either Dryside or McDavid. We got the PSA 10. McDavid. Let's go. Nice. Right there. So That's a monster card right there. Now, if you pull a Jordan Eberle PSA 10, I might have to come out of Canada <laughs> and find you. There you go. So I, I actually bought the full raw set when it came out. And I submitted the McDavid through my LCS, and it came back a nine, which is fine. But you know, I wanted that mm -hmm. ten, so it took from 2015 to now to finally decide to to upgrade. Nice, congrats! It's amazing. Thank you guys. I, I was so stoked to have Congre that. Yeah. So kind of going back real quick, you you said you bought the whole set, so yeah. instead of ripping it, you actually were able to get all the base cards including inserts and then the young guns in that set in one in one purchase in one yeah because you know oftentimes right i'll just buy the the base set for 20 bucks right somebody's yep. gone through and trying to rip pulling all the young guns and they got like you they got the whole set and they just want to move it but this particular purchase they had the young guns yeah. with it and that takes me back to the next card if you will where in i was sitting at honda set Ooh. I was sitting at Honda Center getting ready for, I forget what teams were playing. It was the Ducks and somebody. And I said, I need to buy the 2005 upper deck set, complete set. Oh. And of course, you know who's in there, right? I mean, there's a number of players. Of course. How number of players, but that? Like, two of the biggest like, ones. <laughs> so I got, of course, the OV and the uh, Crosby, and I submitted those through my LCS. And the Crosby came back a PSA 8. And you know, Oof. like you, like you, Perchy, Crosby is like my favorite, you know, PC. Yeah. So yeah. I was able to upgrade last year and get the PSA 10. I know it's not really. There you go. That's so sick. PSA 10 Crosby Young Guns. The one I'm missing. I need one of those. <laughs> so I'll, I'll tell you what it took, man. I traded in my PSA 8 and a grip of cash. And I got this back, and I got the also he he included the Yager French PSA ten. So, oh, nice. sweet! So that was that's a pretty awesome. Cool deal. So right there, I mean, just having these two guys, right? You know, I was stoked. Now the the other guy on my list is Ovechkin, and I, I currently have a PSA eight point five Young Guns. Okay, so that's the next card. And then after that, then we're going to be opening it up to get Dreisaitl, Austin Matthews, McKinnon, you know, all those guys, Eichel, Makar. So. No, yeah. that's great. I, yeah. I would probably try and get that sooner than later. Yeah. Because um, now <laughs> he's been on. Oh, look questions. at this. <laughs> look at this. Because he's been on such a hot streak. Like, you yeah. know, as a huge Gretzky fan. You know, I don't know if the chat agrees with me or not. Being Canadian, of course, um, he, he holds a special place in my heart. Even though I PC OV, and I yeah. PC him pretty hard. I got over 200 cards of him. Um, I, I really, yes, there there's always going to be that one that comes along, right? That, that'll that beat those old records. That one, I don't know. I, I kind of want to still hold on. I want, him to hold, I want Gretzky to hold on to, but yeah. I mean, I, I, I think, yeah, I think that since he's been on his streak, that it's really gonna, depending on what he looks like next season, he, he has picked it up. It looks like it's going to happen, but, uh, yeah, um, I would get that sooner than later. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you were talking a little bit backstage, right? I'm from LA, even before I moved to Orange County, you know, my first hockey game was Gretzky, you know, um, so I have way more Ovechkin cards than Gretzky, including PSA wow. 10 rookies. I don't want to see that record broken either, right? I yeah. Mean, as, yeah. A, as a collector, yeah, my collection would go up, but like I want Gretzky to keep that record. But yeah. I remember we were talking and we were like, okay, you know, McDavid and the Oilers have a real chance maybe to win the cup this mm -hmm. year, maybe. Mm -hmm. Ovi's not going to break that record this year. So no. I, had to, I had to pick which one do I buy yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would have so, went with McDavid myself. Yeah. yeah. So, but yeah, I mean, uh, I told the wife, I'm like, I might just go for that OV like next week. 
I just might do it <laughs> just to like start a new goal list, you know, because because I can like I went to my LCS and I traded the other cards for cash. Right. So it kind of helps me a little bit get some funds to the next grail. Mm -hmm. Post the uh, Cali and uh, Jordan squad comment there, DM. That big one, that one? Yeah, that big one. Collecting oh, back nice. in 0506, I was looking <laughs> at a book and I had given to Jordan and I found Crosby and King Henry car. I was like, oh my God, how did I do this? Oh, that's amazing. And then uh, CCB, yeah. Um, statistically speaking, Matthews is on a pace to potentially be... Uh, be the all-time goal leader at some point if he keeps it up and i'm a leafs fan so there's well, Perky, there's no doubt since you're yes. a leafs fan what do you got psa 10 matthews opt yes. rookie yes so yeah i want the up i want the young guns but yeah talking about matthews man he is incredible so there's my psa 10 i like the marquee rookie i think yeah. those i think those are a little underrated DK, have it your way. What's going on? DK. Thanks for coming. My Lakers, bro. Still want my chicken fingers. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> I wonder chicken how fries long, over here, man. How long did it take for people to realize I was hoser cards? You know. Uh, well, we knew when we were talking. <laughs> yeah. That's how we knew. But I don't know. I don't think anybody knew really. Because I mean, it's not like I've done a lot with it other than rip on the shorts and stuff. But it is and, funny when people you know who don't know you come to your channel and they're like, oh, hey, you know. Oh, they're, you yeah, they're liking out. your stuff. Yeah. Right, right. This has got to be a nice surprise for everyone, to be honest with you. A sensei, I didn't realize until last week. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> you know, sensei, he does the after party for Spine Ticks every Saturday. Yes. I mean, that guy yep. loves cards. I love cards so much that. You know, like I, but but with spine ticks, I can't just do just cards. So it's I mm -hmm. love doing just cards in a situation like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's got. Um, I've been I tuned in a little bit. It was almost, geez, almost three in the morning by the time I went to bed. But I've been trying to catch as much as uh, of his stuff as I can, and he does have an amazing card collection, and it's. It's a wide variety of a little yeah. bit of everything. And, and I, I love cards too. Like it all really, like my dad started it, you know, collecting eighties OPG. And then he got me collecting cards for a 1993 McDonald's baseball set. And that's when the blue Jays were absolutely on fire. Roberto Alomar. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm, Blanking on the other one because I'm so excited. Yeah. <laughs> Joe Carter. Yeah. And so he helped me complete that set. And then a couple years later, I, I'm a huge X-Men fan. And uh, I know you are as well. And uh, I know you're, I know you really like Spider-Man, but he helped me oh, collect 95. Too. Okay, good. Yeah. Um, 95, 96 Flare Ultra. I have the complete set of that, even nice. with the bases. And I had some extra. So what I did with the extra cards, I just hung them up on my son's wall. A lot of just the Wolverine ones. So Adam's card closet. What up? What's up, Adam? What's going on? Yeah, a lot of these guys have been on spine ticks before. Had oh, a ton. I, I recognize everybody. It's amazing. So many good people, man. You have a great chat. You have a lot of good uh, supporters that come it's out so and watch fun. you and give Even you the love. Being Thanks for the being chat, a part of it. It's so fun. Just Bobby. What's, up, what's Bob? going Everyone on, Bobby? So love. She's a sweetheart. She's so yeah, nice in the chat too. Can I show you? A Thanks, piece Bobby. Of you yes. Show us anything you want. Yeah, please. That's okay, okay, Bobby. We appreciate you just popping in and saying hi. Honestly, we appreciate it very much. Do you remember there was a, a horrible rumor about Corey Perry and Bedard's mom? <laughs> Look at what Maiden's doing you know, for you. Look you know at what Maiden's doing for you. <laughs> What is that? Oh, adult, adult babies. Adult babies. <laughs> if you're wondering what adult babies is, tune into Spine Ticks on Saturday. <laughs> so yeah, you know Corey Perry. Yeah, you know, the sweater you're wearing. He's like uh, my favorite. Like, say, I mean, he's a future Hall of Famer, no doubt. But he's not like you know yeah. a top player in the league anymore. Uh, but mm -hmm. he is like my sentimental favorite active player. And you know, I got to meet him at Honda Center for season ticket holders. They had Fan Fest. 
and uh, took photos with him. And it broke my heart when the Ducks, you know, released him. Um, first, they let Maroon go. Then they released him and, you know, all my other players. Uh, I rank number one in PSA's registry for Perry because there's not really much competition. It's not like everyone's clamoring to get Perry cards. Um, mm -hmm. So I've been buying a lot of them. And like this was one of my recent acquisitions, man. Just a beautiful autograph. Oh, ultimate. Numbered card here. Ooh, and, uh, wait until you see the wait until you see the ultimate I have to show you, my friend. That's nice. a beauty. Yeah. I've got quite a lot. In fact, um, there is still on Spine Ticks. If you check out Spine Ticks, there's a sports cards playlist where you'll be able to see Yager. You'll, yeah. you'll be able to see a lot of informational oh, videos watched. like yeah. Well, thanks. I appreciate that. Uh, because part of the fun go check it PSA, out guys it's amazing it is thank you guys part of the fun with psa is ranking up in the registry so like for instance uh you know i, I hold number one for perry i'm tied for you know with yager and fedorov and all these other ones so if you if you collect the cards that they have in their registry and you get like a nice little pin from psa a certificate that kind of thing it's a fun little like competition since we all like sports that's a really hard card to grade a 10 because of the thickness of it. T-H-I-C-C, -C, thick, yep. Yeah. That's a that's a tough one. That's a real that's a real tough one to get graded. Mm -hmm. Those ultimates are no joke. That's a good one. I see Kelly uh talking about the shorts, you know, the YouTube shorts, as you guys are finding out with your channels. That's a great way to build your channel with subscriptions, yeah, yeah. And subscribers and um that leads to other opportunities, but um, glad to hear that, David. Oh, definitely. And then we got Perky Frozen in Time again. That's all that's right. awesome, Callie. <laughs> I got other stuff to show you too, um, but you know, whatever you guys want to talk yes. about. Or... No, please, you... yeah, no, we're good. The, it leads the it leads the conversation. So. Well, one of the stories that I had saved for you and I haven't specifically mentioned on the show is since you, you know, you were a huge uh, Ducks fan. I had the opportunity um, back when I met my wife, I worked at a bar and uh, I was a bouncer as a part time. Oh, nice. And yeah, weird to think of me as a bouncer. I know, but uh, it was a it was a fun little fun little gig. And it so happened that a couple hockey players came in. And uh, one of them was a guy you met, and uh, he's from the the town that I'm I moved to to the states, and his name is Ryan Kessler. Oh, nice! And okay. uh, we 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 were hanging out a little bit. He was with James Wisniewski, who played for the Blue Jackets, and yeah. Chris Connor played for Pittsburgh. And uh, it was uh, an absolute blast, man. We did it. We did a little shot together, and he was a really great. He was really nice. He was a great he guy. Nice. Yeah. I'm trying to find my or chicken and bust your face. Uh, I didn't have to do that maiden. Thank goodness. <laughs> so yeah, I met Kessler super. nice. Yeah. He guy. played at uh, my opposing high school. Oh really? Okay. Yeah. Really down to earth. I believe he lives still in the area. He lives just uh, in. Uh, oh, look at this. Nice. Ryan Kessler. Oh, that's awesome. Tops traded PSA. No 10 way. With a yeah. number with the number 20 instead of 17 you Look don't that. see that card very often so that, that's when you know it's a deep collection right like you got a kessler right here yeah shout Which, out to lucas lucas in the house what's up, lucas? lucas what's up lucas appreciate you coming out <laughs> bobby says uh can you bust maiden's love of adult babies <laughs> <laughs> that's funny See you, NPP. Thank you so much, NPP. You, NPP. Appreciate you. Thank you so much. If you guys haven't subscribed to her, go check out her channel. She's got a lot of amazing scenery and even some elephant seals. Uh, it's it's great. My kids love the elephant seals videos. Um, so go check her out, please. They make yeah. funny noises. Um, I wonder if <laughs> yes, they do. Laffy comes in here tonight because we got a Laffy collection I'm going to show tonight. Oh, nice. Why don't I show you one more and then you can take it to you. And like you said, yeah. maybe I'm going to be on many times. I got a whole box, but <laughs> since I'm wearing this King's get up, you know, yes. kind, of, kind of an unsung um, hero on the, on the Kings who recently retired, who wore the C for 
a number of years before Kopitar. Do you know who I'm talking about? Perkins? Thanks, Dustin Bobby. Brown. Appreciate it. Yep, Dustin Brown. So I have a nice little Dustin Brown collection because, again, you know, people don't really collect him too much. He's like a Corey Perry, right? Like, you know, a great player, but kind of under the radar. And so he's such a great player. Yeah. Dustin Brown holding it down for the Kings for a while. Dang. What card is that? What Dustin set is that Brown. from? That's a 2003 Bowman Chrome. Oh, that's sick how the player kind of like pops out on it. I yeah. love that. Yeah. And, you know, that's, dude, I, I just love hockey so much that, you know, I love collecting these players. And, and I have them all raw, too. I love raw cards. Dude, I love buying sets. I love trying to complete yeah. sets. Uh, but I love my slabs, too, for sure. And Rippin' teacher uh, says, uh, when you bust out the Jeremy Roenick. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got him in my raw set. Down here in SoCal, Ducks and Kings, as you may know, they do not like each other at all. And the fans no. hate each other. So you're like, how can you have both there? It's because I grew up in L.A. before there was a Ducks. And I obviously cheered for the, the Kings. And then when I moved to Orange mm -hmm. County, where I've spent the other half of my life, there's Honda Center right there. It's not like I'm driving three hours to go to Staples with the traffic and all the stuff. You know, I, I sure I go to Staples now and then. But I love the Ducks who Paul Korea, Tamu Solani. Like, how oh. can you go wrong? So, so another cool story, since yeah. you just said Solani, we had a foreign exchange student um, from Sweden uh, at our school and he played for our hockey team. I wish my buddy Paul was in here because he, he actually played on the same line as him. His favorite wow. player is Timo Solani. Never been to a hockey game in his life. What do I do? Perch comes through. I get tickets right against the boards so you could see Timu fly by, took him to wow. his first hockey game. And he it was just like taking your kid with you, right? He was so happy. So, yeah, that was another story I had for you since you brought up Timu. I love uh, it. Got to take a, yeah, he's a great guy. Anders, man. He would still Anders. hang around um, Honda Center, you know, like, so even after we, he retired, we'd still see oh. him there all the time at, at games. But, you know, Korea stayed away from the Ducks for so long. And mm -hmm. then because Lady Sith and I were season ticket holders, we were able to go to Paul Korea's retirement uh, ceremony at, at Honda Center with the Ducks after a number of years of kind of cold relations. Um, I do have his rookie, but I didn't, I didn't have it right here. But check out that old school look right here. Nice. Yeah. Korea was probably one of my top three favorites. Yeah. Wow. I, I, I love this guy when I was growing oh, up. Oh, he's great. He, he's had got... the, he had the hands before the hands were a thing. <laughs> nice. Yeah. I mean, he's such a skilled player, man. I, I wish. Oh, he yeah. Would. Wish he would have. He was a great skater. Yeah, I wish he would have won the cup, man. Almost. Yeah. But almost. it's great to see him back around Honda Center now and stuff like that. So, if he didn't get the concussion, yeah, he'd still be. Yeah. Still playing. Yeah. 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 But yeah, I got a lot more here, but I don't want to take over. But I, I dude, I'm enjoying this because, like, you guys, I could show a Dustin Brown card, a Ryan Kessler card, and you guys know who that is, you know, which is great. Yeah, no, definitely. Yeah. Uh, I got a Dustin Brown was a great surprise. hockey player. He was a lot of fun to watch. Yeah. I got a little surprise for you guys. See it. I know we got some oil fans in here. So we got some uh, Connor McDavid Team Canada. Nice. These are Ooh. the 1516. Look at that. Those are great. Sweet. Now, did you buy these off eBay or like Maiden, uh, no. Maiden says who is Dustin Brown? <laughs> I um like how they have the rookie collection. They had a Connor McDavid box collection. Hmm. So mm -hmm. it had his rookies and stuff like that in it too. So I bought that. It was like 50 bucks at the time. So I bought it. So it has like all of his Team Canada cards, Oiler cards, like rookie cards, like you get the graded card of him nice. on the Erie Otters. That's awesome. Just like that. Um, you get like a little sign of them. But yeah, it's like they're pretty cool. So I decided, hey, I'll pick that up because you never know. Dude, you know, mm -hmm. before cardflation, the, the prices I was paying for PSA 10 McDavid cards were criminal, criminally low, right? Like, I mean, you know, when Rona and everyone got into cards again and the prices skyrocketed, I got lucky and bought a lot of my cards before then, 
And I look back on the spreadsheet. I'm like, I can't believe I only paid like 30 bucks for that PSA 10, you know, <laughs> rookie card of some kind. Cause I, you know, I have a uh, number of McDavid rookies. Um, but obviously the young guns before you get into the big, big cards, you know, the young, yeah. young guns is like the commoner apex, right. For us. Um, then crazy the boom. collection. There's some laughing air collection going on here. So we nice. got this. Yeah, there is. That yeah. Profiles number, uh, 399 to 110. That chase was nice. fun though. We were all trying to get the Laffy Young Guns. I mean, that that was pretty fun. We got the rookie class, Lafreniere, the silver signature. Nice. Yeah, those are nice. Something a we little got different. The National Hockey Card Day for the U.S. Oh yeah, I ripped a lot of those packs. We got the marquee rookie Lafreniere on the OPG. Nice. Nice. This has to be probably one of my favorites, the canvas Lafreniere. Uh -huh. Yeah. I got the one with the bubble gum. We got where the he's blowing bubble gum in the picture. <laughs> That's cool. We got the superstar on and roll. We got the Allure. I like the Allure. It's one of my yeah. favorite sets. We got the artifacts numbered out of five ninety nine. Nice. Oh, sweet. Then, then there was the Lafreniere collection. So you got Laffy and the Bread Man. <laughs> nice. You got that one there too. That one. Nice. Then this is probably another one of my favorites. Allure game styles. Sideways style. Oh, sweet. Yeah. We got the rookie season review. OPG. Nice. Oh, that's a cool card. So I'm just settle on Rangers there, DM, in your proximity. Like, well, why Rangers for you? <laughs> why Rangers? <laughs> yeah. So the, the funny thing about that is my father is a Boston fan. Okay. I didn't want to be a Boston fan. Okay. Rebellion. My grandfather, one of them is a Maple Leafs fan. My other grandfather is a Canadians fan. Mm -hmm. So I said, okay, I'm going to stay in the conference. So I got to pick one. So I was like, I'm going to be a Rangers fan. Okay. So every time <laughs> there's a Rangers Leafs or Rangers Boston or Rangers Canadian, the phone just a ringing. <laughs> So when someone scores, it's just beep, 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 and the shit talking begins in the family. Nice. And then now, <laughs> the stepson is a New Jersey Devils fan. So now we got it all coming around. Okay. Well, where's the Sabres in that equation? Are they is that too far from where you're at? Uh, well, the closest NHL team to me, if they still have them, would be Quebec. I was going to say the Nordiques growing up, right? Yeah. Yeah, they got to bring back. Quebec Nordiques, man. Talk about an iconic. Oh, what a great sweater. Yeah. I still miss the North Star. What a great sweater. Then you got the. Oh, black yeah. Rainbow. Nice. Nice. But yeah. And then we got some Opeachy packs will open a little bit later. Sweet. What do you got for us, Perchy? Yeah. So I got a. Uh... Mail day. This is from Papa and Baby Bear, so we'll start with that, and then we'll go ahead and show. Uh... Oh, there he is. Speaking <laughs> of, Holly uh, Walnuts. How do you not have a Coach Bombay? <laughs> Papa's my Sopranos. Bro. You know, he's a great guy. He's he sent me these cards. We will. Uh, we won't show the patch, but I got a patch in here so i won't show that just because uh man that means a lot thank you so much i wish i could show everybody um cool story that you gave me this patch the hat i've been wearing the last couple of shows with the fdny he said are you sure it's okay to show it okay are you sure bud all right cool i'll show it 
So this is this is amazing because I got my FDNY hat when I sold cars online and I was dealing with a firefighter um, and we just, you know, he ended up backing out on the deal and he said, you know, I feel really bad for wasting your time. And he sent me a shirt and a hat and he's been a fireman of the New York fire department for 41 years. So wow. um, that meant a lot. And this means a lot as well. That's absolutely nice. amazing. Chicago. Thank you so much. Nice. My Man, father, that is, Chicago. is he? Yeah. And so that's is my, amazing. My great uncle who drove for Capone that I was telling you about. <laughs> All right, so we got a note with it as well. Perch and DM, thank you guys for having us on as your first guest. Thank you for the support. Pop on Baby Bear. Yes, I love graffiti, and I turn it over, and as you can tell from my writing, and then we got a nice little note with his autograph, his son. Yes, Appreciate was, that. Kelly. Thank you so much. He will never admit it, but he was. <laughs> and then we got some fire here. Like, let me tell you that when we were talking and I was just having a conversation about hockey with Papa, trying to answer any questions he had, he, he was showing me some cards and I offered, I'm like, I'll buy those. I'll, I'll buy a couple of those. He's like, no, 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 man. I'm like, dude, come on. Are you sure? He's like, no, no. So we're going to show the first one. This is from 1970, 71. We got Daryl Sittler. Nice. Look at that hair. <laughs> it's amazing. Oh, yeah. The Looks only like man to father. still hold the record for 10 points in a game. Four goals and six assists. We got, I'm going to save this personal card for last. We'll show these two first. So this is a 1971-72. Bobby Orr. Oh. Look excellent. at that. That's beautiful. Look at that card. Whew. Yeah. We got a 1971-72 NHL assist leaders with Bobby Orr, Phil Esposito, and Jean Rattel. Wow. Th Look this at is that. A, this is an AOK. -okay. Papa sent this to you? This is an AOK. -okay. Wow. That's incredible. Incredible. Yeah. I'll say. And then we got... I mean, bro, I was blown away. I told I told him what he had. I made sure. I know. I know you didn't, brother. I appreciate it. And then we got a 1973-74. We were just talking about this the other day. Wow. With the uh the stick. The hockey stick. Just unbelievable. Like I'm blown away at this. Like that's incredible. Just so uh, it is. It's it's amazing. I thank you so much. Uh, I mean, honestly, I it uh, it means a lot. I know. I was I I, I looked at uh, some of the comps like on these specific cards, and I I totally offered to uh, to to pay. So because um, I know they're they're you don't just get them out of the dollar box, right? So definitely gonna have to. I send him some fire. And then I got some good stuff for you, Hoser. Nice. So this is a Ultimate Collections 2005-2006 Alexander Ovechkin rookie oh, let's autograph. See. Beautiful, man. I love nice. it. Nice. That is sick. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. And then we got a 07-08 uh, 17 out of 50 Crosby. Beautiful. And then we got, um, MVP is kind of known as like a, you know, bait, really a starter hobby box. But when I got into it, um, again, in 07, 08, um, they were making some really amazing cards back then. So, so this is, this is one of the poles that you could get out of a hobby box. It's a two on two game use sweater. So you got Malkin and Crosby nice. on one side. Look at that. And then you got Backstrom and Ovi on the other side. Oh man. That's incredible. Sick, right? That yes. is definitely sick. 
And then we got a Crosby SP game use 14 of 100. This is one of my favorites I have. Wow. What's up? And Tex? then we got the uh, rookie showdown, which is like, it's going to be hard to see on camera, but right. there flashes we go. Between the two. I always yeah, flashes between day. the two. Yeah. Man, one of my favorite cars. I absolutely love that. And then I also have a Stars in the Making, which is 0506 as well. Nice. Of OV. So some sure. of the cards of uh, my Crosby and OV collection. And then I did uh, bring some packs to rip. And uh, we'll just kind of show the, the hits out of it. I won't... We won't get too much in, into the base, even though I really like base. I think it's great we'll that just you kinda... and I PC two of the two of those main players there, Crosby and Ovi. Oh yeah, and and I was getting these cards before they were all hot and bothered, right? So that was a base pack. So we'll move on to the next one. <laughs> Thank you in the box. Appreciate it. Thanks I everyone. I appreciate it. I don't mind base packs because truly I love every player in the NHL. Oh, like, me too. Every card. People oh, I am at, too. I'm yeah, I'm a, the, I'm a huge on that. I I would I would like every card of every player. Yeah. Oh, we actually got like a, a hit pack here. We got not only did we get a Dazzlers. Oh, Atkinson, nice. Of Cam Atkinson. Nice. But we also, I almost put it to the back. Whew, good thing I checked. We got a Cole in. Oh, young there gun. you go, my boy. Nice. Yeah, your boy, bud. Then we got some extended of the same year, so 21, 22. Yeah, so what I did, um, I actually started putting my set together. Oh, sweet. I put my set together for OPG. And so since I've been kind of opening up a lot of these, I'm probably going to do the same. So here we go. We got a holographic. Cole Caulfield. So that's oh, a nice. rookie. Look at that. There you go. That's a that's nice a one. Rips. Gold Caulfield right there. And you pulled out holographics on your short. That's a good hit right there. Now yeah, I, you, I saw that. You, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I put them in a nice pile just so I can, just so I can do that. Yeah. <laughs> Try not to mess them up too bad. And we got. Looks like we just got a base pack here. Nice you make sure pack. that there's no French variants. Yeah, I made sure I wanted to be it. Yeah, it's since it's retail, you I don't you don't typically see them as much, but I can double check when you guys are doing it. When you guys are up again. And then we got another young gun. Ooh, this guy's name is tough. I'll probably butcher, butcher this one, but it's uh Axel. Axel Guns N' Roses is one of my favorite bands <laughs> anyway, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a tough name. We'll do some platinum. Yeah, what, what Luke is Oh, saying. yeah. Yeah, I totally agree, man. Like, I'll put sets together if I have enough. I will. I'll, I'll at least put the sets together. We got Korzak on the Marquee Rookie Platinum. Nice. We got Jonathan Uberdo on the say, Neon Surge. Caves. Nice. <laughs> then we got Tyler. Ooh, this is a nice one. We got a Red Prism, 154 out of 199 on Tifoli. I'm still sad that he's not on the Kings anymore. Oh, bro. Yeah. You have no idea when that happened. I was I was bummed out, too, because oh my gosh. he was great for them. Jeff Carter. I know, man. They, were, they, they disbanded that team for you. Yeah. It was crazy. They were just moving in a completely different direction. That's all. Alec Martinez, Jonathan Quick. I mean, you know, after Patrick Waugh, Quick is my favorite goalie. He's on the range. Oh, I love now Quick. For another year. He's killing it. Got Jordan Cairo. He's he just had a hat trick the other night. Got Noah Cates on the marquee rookie. Shout out to Joey. Oh, Revolution. Man, I said it, I said it on Friday, but uh He's a uh, he's an amazing commenter. Every video I noticed he's been on Hoser cards, giving you yeah. some love. I appreciate that, Sean. Thank you. He's great. He's always got he's 
he's cracking me up with some of the things he comments. So I do sets, uh, thing is by yeah. the time I finish, I only have so many base. I want to do a second, but I need the key cards goes back and forth. Yeah. A hundred percent random. Like that's what ends up happening. Right. Samuel Girard. And then we got one more pack and then I'll be done. I got a Crosby card you probably haven't seen before. Ooh, don't you. don't don't tease me. Don't tease me. <laughs> don't tease me. I got a pretty good memory of what I have in my set, so I'm always I'm always got my eye out on on what I don't have. So we got Lucas Johansson on the marquee rookie for the Caps. We got a photo driven Shane Wright. Nice. I like I like the new photo driven. I got the OV OV one. There you go, buddy. Got oh, some nice Rangers Adam mojo of Adam Fox. And then we got Bo Horvat to finish right. it off on the Canucks. There we go, fellas. When I'm doing well, the thank short... you so much to Papa. Oh yeah. Appreciate incredible. that. That's huge. Whew. When I do the shorts, if I know there's a player that you guys like, I try and make that the thumbnail. You know, I put Rangers I up know. there. <laughs> <laughs> of course, you and I love Crosby yeah. and Ovi, Perchy, so that's Oh, easy. man, of course. Yeah. I was like, the uh, the one the one uh, short you did where you pulled the rainbow, I'm like, you know? Yeah. Oh, Bert, shout Bert, what's going Bert, on, buddy? Shout out to Bert. Yo, Bert. There's my guest Happy Monday. That's a great Is that guy what he said? What did he say? Happy freaking Monday, yep. Oh, he's great. Um, Seth. Yeah. You got anything you want to show? Or you want me to rip some packs or? Could I could I show you real quick? Tex. Yeah. Tex, sorry I missed you, bud. What's up, Tex? He's got some classic cards. I don't know if you guys checked out his channel yet, but he's got some old school hockey cards that I've never seen before. Wow. Some Looking minis, early minis. Mm hmm. So this was a purchase last year. Um, is a very low population, not too many in a PSA ten. This is pre. Pre Penguins. It's Crosby oh, PSA Ramuski. 10 autograph materials Ramuski. No way. Yeah. Auto Look at PSA that. 10. Gem Mint PSA 10. That's I definitely beautiful. don't have that card. I do have I a Ramuski to, card I though. To see him I do. On that on his first uh first ever game as Ramuski. That's awesome. Yeah, I have a number of his Ramuski cards. Oh sweet. So some of them are PSA 10. Um, some are raw, but yeah, I want to show you that. And then just to show you, you know, I love the vintage stuff too. You know, uh, 1980 is my oldest complete set, <laughs> but we got some, some Gretzky action here. <laughs> you know, I, I got the whole set, but you know, I'm, I'm a Gretzky guy. So I want to flash some of that non-graded cardboard here yeah, for you guys. Beauty. That's nice. Rest in peace. Guy. Oh yeah, look at uh did you see sport uh ripping teachers comment? My students are like fish to a fishing lure. They love <laughs> whatever has sparkle or shine. The yeah. player doesn't matter. <laughs> shout, shout out exactly Leafs fan. Leafs yeah, fan. What's going on? What's up, Leafs fan? You know, because Leafs Oh look fan at that here. card. Yes. I should, here. Show them show them your Leafs awesome magic. For you. Nice. We got that. And then, uh, yeah, I was looking for something else handy. It's all in disarray over here. But, yeah, Austin <laughs> Matthews. Shout out to Leafs fan down under. They Go for it, that. Dan. I just heard the toilet flush Lady Sith's home. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that, Leafs fan. There's, your, there's your Mitchie Marner for you. Nice. Marner. Great player. Tavares, Tavares. Yeah, go for it, DM. Ooh, yeah. I, did, I guess since I didn't look through my base, who knows if I got one. I'm going to look right now. <laughs> I'll rip open some of these packs here. So we got Bo Horvat. Oh, didn't did the Perchy just pull that? Yeah. We yep. Zach We're going to see some dupes. We got Dylan Wells on the Yellow Surge Marquee Rookie. Sweet design. Nice. 
And we got the guy IPC, Connor Hallibuck, on the matte pink. Nice. Um, that's a nice one. It's a real nice one. Thanks, Boggs. Oh, we got fire in this one. We got Marky Rookie. Shout out to Julie on the wild. Mitchell Shafee. Let's let's go. We got Elias Pedersen. Yep. This is fire. Nice. Right, I'm not gonna lie. This next poll is fire. I'm what is this? We got I saw a peak of it. A sweet <laughs> selection of Mad Sogard. Nice. Oh, then, sweet. Numbered out of four ninety nine, hot magma. Let's go. Hot magma. Magma. Liquid liquid hot magma. magma. Dude, that is a <laughs> sick design right there. <laughs> That's a great a, card. Doctor Evil card. Magma. And then we got Caden Korzak again, like perch pulled on the marquee rookie. Nice. We got Patrick Kane on the Black Ops. Kaner. PC him as well. We got oh, Patrick Kane on the Black Ops again. All right. I'll trade you my Hellebuck retro for that Kaner uh, <laughs> retro right there. <laughs> we got Jake Gensel. No longer on the pens. Nope. I miss uh, yeah. Kane and Taze with the Blackhawks, man. Oh, we'll yeah. We'll after this here. We got On Your Kings, Jacob Marble. Or Mobar. Nice. Sorry. We got Jeff Skinner. Shout out TCB. Yeah. We got on Julie's Wild, Matt Zuccarello, former Ranger, who I miss. Oh. Great player. And we got a photo driven Gay Landeskog. Nice. Where's uh, Swag and Dave Collects, the Abs Bros? Yeah. Oh, man. I know. One pack left. They're missing it. I have to hear Avalanche 24 7 from those guys. <laughs> like they double team me with Avs talk. <laughs> and then when they won the cup, it was just like 24 7 Avs talk. So we got Marky Rookie Avs, Oscar Olson. We got Patrick Line. Nice. Oh, yeah. Hosa as well. Seven. Of Connor McDavid. Sick. Look at that. Ooh. That's beautiful. Look at this. And then, this is going right to the PC. Perch, I'm going to have to do this first. <laughs> Philadelphia Kessel. Oh, we got Kessel coming up, huh? We got the Yellow Surge. Oh, John no, Burgess is here. Kessel. Thanks, buddy. What's up, John? Nice. So that's what we've ripped so far. Nice. We had to nice. Get there we go. Dog eating Phil into this. It's not a <laughs> not OT Hawk show without <laughs> this beautiful man right here. Can I show you a few more beautiful uh, McDavid cards because of oil? Yeah, yeah you certainly yes. Can. You know, ripping teacher. I got I got to see um, Hosa. Uh, you know, play here in Detroit for a while and. When uh, he went over to Chicago, I was I was a little bummed about that. It was fun to watch him play. So you saw the young guns. These oh. are all McDavid rookies too, right here. <laughs> Thanks, Robert. Appreciate you coming out, brother. Thank you so Thanks, much. Robert. Really appreciate it. Robert, shout out to Boo Boo and Miss Coco, his dogs. So look at this cool McDavid with the Popeye. I think you saw this That's on Maiden awesome. Show. <sighs> yes, yes. That's that is sick. Guy. So that these are all ten. That's a great card right there. Look at this one, the portrait. That's oh, a nice. sick. Ooh. These are all rookie year, twenty fifteen. No kidding, man. That's awesome. I was uh, I was at uh, Paula Casino, which is you know my wife loves to do the slot machines, and I was I was sitting in there and I was like not winning, and I was like the money I'm spending on slot machines, I could buy these cards on eBay, and at the time these were cheap. It was like, you know, <laughs> so like I, I stopped gambling. A couple bucks, buying. right? Yeah. Here's the, another. Papa, okay. I would love to, bro. 
I've never been to, we were talking about this. I've never been in the Chicago arena. I only went to the winter classic at Wrigley field. So that'd be, that'd be great. I need to go there too. I got ancestors buried there in Cook County, Chicago. <laughs> Check out that McDavid design. That's beautiful. That's oh, big. that's sick. Yep. Just a few more here. People have never seen these before. I haven't shown them. So you got the uh, OPG glossy rookie. Dang, that's that that's some fire right there. Thank you, man. OPG Every time. Is my oh, sweet. Set. These are all like whenever I leave the house, I take all of these to the in-laws' house. <laughs> so you got the uh, McDavid Parkhurst rookie. Teacher, oh. I actually met Chelios. Oh, nice. And uh, there's a picture of me and my buddy in the New York Times at the Winter Classic and. Chelios is signing a kid's stick, and I'm in the background like, yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I got a for you. Look at that card. Yeah. Um, Do you have his rookie class, did you say? Oh, there it is. I have that card. Nice. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Maiden. I don't... And then uh, the, the Upper Deck E-Fusion, E-Pack. Oh, wow. No way. Yeah. So besides the young gun, yeah, those are that's some of my McDavid stack. Funny thing was that um, PSA, you know, they have the registry, and one of their like hired reporters for the magazine called me and wanted to talk because at the time they were going to do an article on McDavid. Um, but the thing is, they they talked to a bunch of us, but then the editor decides what goes in the magazine, and my story, I guess, mm -hmm. never made it in there. But had a good chat with one of their reporters. <laughs> Never heard of the guy. I know, right? Oh, shout out Leaf to fan. John I still Vargas like I still like house. Austin Matthews. So I just got to get more. Do you have any Tavares? Yeah. Uh, I've got some raw Tavares, but not not uh, graded. See you, DK. See you, DK. See you, DK. Appreciate you coming out. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, yeah Maiden, I gotta... Maiden, I could have shown all this and more, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited. I'm with my hockey bros. You know. So great. I got this a is, for you. This is awesome. Um, Perch probably heard this, but I don't think you have. Hit so me. So when I was six, my parents always threw like a Christmas Eve party. And one of my mom's friends at the time, I didn't know it, but William Reed, the first ever oh, really? black man to play in the NHL, was at my house. Wow. And I didn't know at the time. I was six, so I didn't know who he was. But that was great because he was dating my mom's best friend at the time. And sure I didn't know that everyone was going hands over nuts. And I just had a blast with Willie, really use your toilet. That's great. I mean, how about that? That's a story to tell. Yeah, it was great. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's awesome. Something that you'll remember forever. Just yeah, first black man to play in the NHL. Yeah, definitely. I, I remember when they were really celebrating him a few years ago, you know, and he was everywhere, mm -hmm. like on all the yeah, programs. Yeah, he was. Yeah. Yeah, teacher, they are having the Winter Classic next year at Wrigley Field. Yep, making sure that Bedard gets his turn. And, man, if I would have known you were a Chicago fan, brother, I would have I would have brought out one of my Ronix and my Bedard next show for you. If you come along, I'll uh, I'll make sure I have my Bedard young gun and, and – uh, I'll have some Chicago fire for you. I'll get some too for next time. Yeah. Who's <laughs> as long as <laughs> Papa. <laughs> Pop, Papa cracks me up, man. I've only oh, known him a short a... time, but I love this guy. If, if, if he's like a brother, man. I mean, honestly, like I, when I was having a phone conversation with him, it's just like, yeah, it's just like talking to a friend, honestly, just, feel like you've known him for a long time so you know what i got something for papa but if you minimize me because i'm gonna reach down for a second i got something for papa so all I'll right. Be right back. yeah is it i guess I, I like where you're going with this i like where you're going with this i know i i feel like i need to run to my room and grab you those cards teacher i want to give you some justice you know <laughs> I got a Ronick sitting there too in a Decagon. The chat has been popping. Thank you guys for coming out. First of all, it's just been, I, and I love that you guys are having conversations with each other too and just yeah. having a good time. This is what it's all about. This is, 
this is what's great about the hockey car community and, and uh, appreciate Definitely. all the support and love. And um, even if you're not, you know, into hockey as much, you know, it's, it's nice to learn. Like I've been learning a lot about baseball um, through a lot of your channels and I've only collected, like I said, the 93 series. So um, of McDonald's and then of course with sensei, you get everything, which I absolutely love. He's got so much fire. Yeah, no, for sure. Yeah, I don't want to talk about myself at all. I love that we get to read like your guys' comments and um and engage with you as much as possible. That's right, Eric, babe. It's all about hockey. I got a nice little grassy. Hopefully we'll be able to see it. Oh, thanks, Zach. Appreciate that, brother. But it's awesome. Yeah, look at that. Trophy. Beautiful. That's sweet. I love the holograms. And we got everyone oh. scrambling. Andy Mo. Yeah. Yeah. Is it is it is it unethical to leave my chair to go grab a card? Is no, that man, a is that a faux pas on the live stream? No, man. All right, all right. <laughs> you guys do your thing. Have a conversation. <laughs> I can still hear you. You gonna you gonna show the Iserman? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I got some. I got a bunch of cards down here. Sorry to hear that, John. <laughs> yeah, so DM, if Papa's still here, I, I grabbed just a few things for him. Yeah. So so Papa, on his shorts, he's got the Sopranos cards, right? Yeah. And, you know, like to me, like I grew up on mob movies. Like I said, my great uncle had some ties to Capone. And more than anything, it's a great way of um, the loyalty and everything as you work your way through these communities, right? Like Maiden and, and I have talked, right? Loyalty is everything, you know, having your bros there. So I got a number of mob cards here. So oh, like, nice. how about Al Capone, Meyer Lansky, Lucky Luciano, right? So these mob oh, cards. Where'd you get those? Yeah, I just, uh, there was a set. And so I bought them. Um, but, you know, specific to Papa, he has um, <laughs> Sopranos cards right here. So like, I bought the whole set, man. Did you see what Leafs fan done on their putt? What'd he yeah. say? <laughs> Dumb. I came here by mistake. I thought this was time, the time slot for Danny's OnlyFans channel. Oh, funny. <laughs> the feet picks are after. So I just wanted to show these because Papa was showing these cards, and I got the whole set of the Sopranos cards here. Oh, that's sick. Yeah, so. Nice. Big, big fan of the series and, you know, Godfather, Goodfellas, all that stuff. So I you can love see that. Me. I got all kinds of, like, uh, martini drinks and stuff like that, so. That's awesome. That's it. I just want to show him that. You can enjoy that. That's awesome. All right, Perchy, your turn. All right, Rippin' Teacher. I got you covered. So, Maiden as well. I know that he said in the chat earlier, you know, that he liked Ronick. And uh, we're going to show you the Ronick Decagon. Oh, nice. This is a really cool card. Something a little different. Yeah. These came in autos as well. And then we'll show this one real quick, just because you've been showing so much McDavid fire poser. <laughs> what are you going to show? Like, now? Take off, eh? Like take off deep eh? roots. Oh, sick. Look at that. It's a great card. Nice little yeah. texture. And then, all right, teach. Hopefully you're still in here, bud, but we're going to go through. Let's do a little McDavid. Some of these are a little, I haven't even posted uh, my videos yet, but that's all right. Nice. It's a love for you guys. There's the star rookie of Bedard. Throw it. Throw it. <laughs> <laughs> we got the glossy. Wow. Of Bedard. We got the portraits. <laughs> I mean, it looks like a George Washington times. <laughs> Just Have you seen wig. these yet, Hoser? I've never seen those. That's so awesome. these are the these are the new upper deck portraits that came in series one, and <laughs> series two. I I, I it's like a love hate relationship. He, he looks like the next Canadian prime minister. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You guys. Then we got. I pulled. Like I pulled two. Uh, oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> yeah. I uh, pulled a second. Steve Buscemi. <laughs> <laughs> And then not only do we have the uh, marquee rookie of Bedard that I pulled. Wow. But we also have 
the OPG Premier. Sick. Yeah, that card's really nice. Just think of all the diapers you could have been buying that you spent. Oh, uh, I got it covered. I got it covered. Do you think he's going to uh, live Of course, up the, the checklist with Bedard's name on it. You know, like Matthews, McDavid, do you think he's going to live up to the hype? It's uh, Lady Sith. I, I think that's the hard thing for me. Think... Oh, what's up, Lady Sith? Thanks for coming back. Hopefully you had a good time. My um, wife. I, th I think just, uh, you know, obviously what it's done to the, the hobby is, um, you know, a bit bonkers. And he's a really good player. I mean, even with uh, him missing – you know, a bunch of games with the broken jaw. I mean, he's stayed really consistent. Um, you know, he'll, f he'll fill in obviously I think over time here and, um, he'll, he's only going to get stronger. So if, as long as they, I mean, he's doing it by himself too, right? There's a lot of rookies on the team. Um, I, I, I don't know. It's, it's hard to say, but it, he's definitely not McDavid. He's definitely not Matthews, not Crosby, not Ovi yet. Um, so we'll see. I mean, he's fast. He's got a wicked shot. He, Who would you guys say that you, you imagine he's going to compare out to in like two years from now, like each of you? Well, who would you say, Perch, and who would you say, DM? Kaner. Really? Patrick Kane? Wow. He, not yeah. bad. I think. Really? Yeah. He, if yeah. you're going to have to pick, pick someone, I think he's going to be – like a hybrid between Jonathan Taves and a Korea. Wow. See, I'm pissed because they cut Perry. Perry was like mentoring him and helping him out. And was a good kind of role model and enforcer, uh, you know, and uh, I, I bought like a Perry Blackhawks shirt, mm -hmm. which for a Ducks and Kings fan, for me to wear a Blackhawks shirt around LA, you know, but I did that. And then uh, I felt uh, that left a bad taste in my mouth. But to me, like, if I had to pick, no hands, no brainer, I'd be taking Brock Faber. That's going to be a stud. Like, that's going to be a superstar. And he's a defenseman, which is a dime a dozen. Forwards you can get in any draft. But to me, if I was building a team and I had to pick out of two, Brock Faber would be my number one pick. I plan to buy that. A PSA 10 young guns in the off season when the Bedard hype kind of drops a little bit. I'm just going to buy a graded one. Um, and then yeah. speaking of Perry, man, I, I couldn't be that happier. I got out of a 10. Yeah. I couldn't be happier that Perry's now with yeah. Edmonton. So having Perry and McDavid together, oh. right, Whew. I hope they can do it this year. Well, if you think about it, Edmonton has the two most nastiest players. They got Patrick or Evander King. And yeah. Corey Perry. So who's going to want to face right. them in the playoffs? Because that's when they get real nasty. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's crazy. You know, CCB was saying in the chat that he saw him play for Regina. You know, that is a real deal. Yeah, I'm sure I'm Sure, when you see him in person, you get a whole different, uh, you know, aspect of, of the player, especially when he's young. Like I saw Rick Nash play when he was young for the London Knights. I saw um, Tyler Sagan play for the Plymouth Whalers. So, yeah. Yeah, I got you, Teach. I I had to give you some fire, man. So, I didn't want to disappoint. You know, I didn't want to hold you hostile. So, yeah, man. I like what Callie and Jordan said. McDavid's mom was told to stay out of the arena. <laughs> <laughs> That's why Edmonton has no mom trips. <laughs> I, I was posting photos of myself with Corey Perry and all my cards on Twitter. And I got the most views during that time because everyone was like, my God, what did Perry do? Like, what did he do? Right. And like every time I post, uh, they kind of said it was all rumors, right? Yeah. But Twitter was they ended crazy. up saying it was all just like rumors and stuff. Oh yeah. It was going nuts it was for hilarious, it. Hilarious, man. In fact, I'm going to try and find it on my phone while we're, because <laughs> I I met Kessler, I met Getzloff, I met all those. I guys. know you showed us. Yeah, it's great times. Yeah, when I was a kid, uh, I used to skate out of the Windsor Spitfires old. Oh, we lost him. Birch froze. I don't know if you know uh, DJ Smith, who is the coach for. Oh, did I? Can you still hear me? You're yeah. back now. Yeah. Uh oh. 
Okay, cool. Yeah, I, I uh, did a free skate when I was a kid, and DJ Smith and Matt Cook were probably, I don't know, 15, 16, 17 or whatever. And uh, so I got to skate with those guys when I was a kid. When I worked at a car dealership, I worked with a, an ex-Red Wing player. I just can't remember his name. It always, it's been slipping me for a few weeks. I just can't think of his name, but he was an old-timer uh, wing in the, in the 70s. So. so the pension I met Brian Smolinski. Smolinski. Yeah, it must not have been that good. Yeah, I met Brian Smolinski, super nice guy. Probably one of the one of the nicest players I've met. I know I've mentioned that before. Nick Lidstrom was super nice. He was he was a gent, that's for sure. I remember playing a lot of PlayStation when those Red Wings were hot, you know. Oh. <laughs> they're great. I've hey, been to DM, so many games. Can you big screen me for a minute? I'll show the yeah. show the boys me and Perry. So I posted this on Instagram when the Ducks let Perry go to the uh, star. <laughs> but there's me and Corey Perry right there at uh, Anaheim Ducks Fan Fest. I had the goatee there, much to Lady Sith's chagrin. She didn't like the facial hair on me. But yeah, Perry was he was great, man. I was I was so pissed. Oh, yeah. thanks, Leafs fan. Appreciate it, Michael. Thanks for coming out, brother. Really appreciate it. Have tell a great you, day at work and. Hi. Yeah, I tell Yuki we said hi and have a great rest of your week, man. Seriously. Looking yeah. forward to Thursday. Or Wednesday, yeah. sorry. Wednesday. Man, this, this has been great, man. Just talking hockey with the bros. You know, I really appreciate it. And I've, I've enjoyed this time. The chat's been awesome. Yeah, yeah the chat's been great. been great. No, we, we appreciate you, brother. I mean, you know, the Thank fact you. that we met really quick and you invited us on your show. I, I mean, obviously shows really the character that you have in, um, and the trust that you have in us to, to bring us on your show. And you've shown us nothing but love. I mean, every day we're chatting in the hoser, hoser cards, chat, and, um, your whole group has really like just honestly taken us in and been very kind and been subbing to everybody, buddy. And I at least trying to watch some of their content and, learning a lot about a lot of different things. So it, it can get tough. I can't imagine what it's like for you having the amount of subscribers you have. And, um, you know, it, it's crazy. Yeah. Better recognize you. Right. Maiden. Yeah. And we had a great time on Maiden. He's, he's, you know, Danny's friend taking us under, uh, under the love bus too. And appreciate that. And yeah, it's been, it's been an amazing experience so far. So we appreciate you taking the time, you know, out of your day and coming on with us. It's been great. And, and, and we appreciate Lady Sith letting you. <laughs> oh, you yeah. Honestly, yeah, like, she, you guys have been great. I mean, just like, uh, just to talk hockey with some bros and like, you guys have been genuine. Like Ma Maiden told me, he's like, I got these two guys, man. These guys know hockey. And, you know, when Maiden is serious, like you listen to him, you know, and uh, Maiden, Maiden's been great. It's been great to see his channel on Sundays and you guys making the rounds and stuff and a lot of great bros in here saying nice things, Zach, yeah. and everybody, you know, ITB. So, you know, really appreciate yeah. it. We're just down for good times, man. Yep. Don't no, definitely. It's been fun having you and you know, you're always welcome. You just oh, let us know and make it happen. Yeah. Well, I appreciate it. And Papa. Yeah, man. I'm glad I met you too. We'll, uh, we'll definitely have to, to collaborate. Yeah, no, Papa was our first guest and kind of taught us the ropes on um, grading. Cool. Yeah, I'm looking forward yeah, to you did. Uh, I got to tune in because Papa and I don't think we were too connected when it was spine ticks, but on Hoser cards, right? He's yeah. He found me because Hoser, you know how it is on YouTube. Some people like, I only want to see cards. I only want to see comic books. I only want to see toys. Yeah. And spine ticks is like this craziness of all the yeah, hobbies, right? Everything. Yeah. But I like, think, I think that's yeah. what it really opens up to though. Right. Is, is, you know, even from national park princess to, um, to Bert's even doing a little bit of everything, his shorts are killing it. Um, it, it's been, it's been really cool to see and met a lot of great people and they're always so positive and yeah. Meet and maiden, you know, shoot, you're awesome, bro. You're awesome for having us, you, you know, on your show. And it was fun um, having you guys on. Yeah. Yeah, it was. It was a great time. It was uh, just the different sections that you have throughout the show, I think, are <laughs> are really what blow people away. 
and um like me winning uh, the other the other weekend with oh, the, the AI uh, challenge. Cr- yeah yeah creating the ai okay. challenge like i'm i'm still stuck on like what to do with it because it is <laughs> such an awesome picture yeah um i t-shirt <laughs> yeah oh bro that'd be great oh yeah and you said something about t-shirts on on saturday on your show yeah you you better believe uh, we're going to be getting a hold you, of you, you to get some spine ticks love so we can wear that stuff. Oh, yeah, man. I appreciate it. <laughs> you you yeah, already know what one to have to get. Leap year cats. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, like I've been making those AI cat videos and like uh, DM told me his uh, his kids loved it. And, you know, was he came home and was hearing leap year cats blaring out of the bedrooms. So I, I made a T-shirt out of it, a spine ticks leap year cat shirt. It was great. The kids loved it. Oh, your wife just ca- your wife just came up with a big one. Oh, the hockey spine jersey. takes hockey jersey. Uh oh. I'm from- loving it. I'm loving it. Wait, what's he Lady grabbing? Sith. Lady Sith design. Yes. Jersey. Look at that. <laughs> I I saw that on Saturday. That's great. Yeah. So it's see like that a- shirt is so <laughs> sick right there. I, I I designed this late at night when I was intoxicated. That's why it's so simple. <laughs> <laughs> so. when the best it's when the best mojo gets flowing yeah don't worry maiden i'm going to be making a sushi chihuahua shirt as well but <laughs> so that's all spine ticks hoser cards is just hockey right i haven't uh, been ripping any pokemon on the shorts or anything to right. it's just yep. hockey and uh um, yep. you know i love hockey so much that's why i'm really happy to have you and all the bros there in the chat i mean even lady sith went to all those games with me i'm talking like three and a half years of season tickets. Lady Sith went to every game with me. So So she's a huge hockey fan as well. Like she's, she's pretty, she's pretty die hard going to all those games. There's no doubt about it. I mean, she's got a, she's got a duck sweater in the background. You know it. Pat Maroon hit on her. It was great. (laughs) Oh, look at that. Yeah. Look at that. So you you gotta gotta watch watch out for those hockey players. (laughs) She kind of looks like Pat Maroon's uh, girlfriend a little bit. Oh, shoot. Yeah. I got a question for you. Yeah. So do you find that you get, do you find hockey shorts are a lot more harder to get the views for than your other shorts? Oh yeah. Because you know, like video game cards, like super Mario, Minecraft, the kids, like I got several shorts that are like 380,000 views on the shorts because they blow up. Hockey is harder to, to make work. I mean, Maiden's a great example of like killing it with hockey. Um, I was, I was still getting some good views and then recently the shorts algorithm changed a bit. Mm-hmm. So with hockey, I'm happy if, if I get like 400, I'm happy with hockey. Uh, but with those video game cards, I mean like Pokemon, all that stuff, you get tons of subs off that. Yeah. I mean, yeah. that's honestly, that's how spine ticks has almost 14,000 subs is from the shorts feed, you know? So yeah. Cause I know I love like, hockey more for sure. One of my shorts finally hit like. 800 i was so excited i was like wow and then the next one you do is like 60. yeah if if i'm paying dang ladies oh go ahead lady sith won a hockey stick yes she won a nick Nick Ritchie? ritchie yeah oh that's sick let's go yeah we stayed there afterwards and we heard them announce her name and we're like oh man oh no way yeah and we we also have from hana center you know, outside Hana Center, they got the big banners on the streets. We have a yeah. Pat Maroon banner, but it's so big we can't even hang it inside. Oh yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I got one so of those. I got a poster us- from the Winter Classic that I took. Oh, nice. Are you telling yeah. us you had the wrong person on the show? <laughs> you know what, Lady Sith. <laughs> you know, if, if she would come out of the shadows, but you know, for the reasons we spoke about before, right? <laughs> She she stays anonymous, yes. but she does a great job in the <laughs> yes. chat. So she's the one that hands them down to you, then. <laughs> yeah, she she hands me all the stuff. I, I'm lucky to have Lady Sith because she, she loves all the same things I do. Oh dang, yes. Tristan's got a video of frogs screaming that has 56k views. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, people go crazy for stuff. I mean, wow. Bert, you saw Bert's 1.3 million oh, views short. Yes, not a Google car. He's the it's, one who's killing it. Yeah, I was gonna. You know, it's so funny. I was get, when he was talking about that. I was, me being a former, well, still a car guy. I was gonna be like, well, it's just a camo car, which <laughs> means it's a like a pre-production of a vehicle. <laughs> but yeah, that, that his he blew car, up yeah. with that. 
They do. Yeah, Zach's been blowing up on the shorts too. You know, like he's been going in at, at retail with the Super Mario and all the other yeah, stuff. Yeah, the Walmart. Yeah, yeah I, I've been watching that. Yeah, Callie and Jordan keep pushing the Paw Patrol. You know, people love that stuff too. Oh, for sure, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. definitely. He said well, that gardening and hockey shorts are very much the same. Hmm. hmm? I said anything else you guys? Oh, want we, to know? we want to know anything else. Yeah. Shoot, we could go on and on, my man. <laughs> yeah. We got us. <laughs> yeah. Um. Do you ultimately have uh, is Wayne Gretzky your favorite player of all time, or? Yeah, I mean it's 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 a difficult thing, right? Growing up, he was the guy, yeah. and then there was Paul Korea, and then you then you actually go all the time, and then you meet guys like Corey Perry and Ryan Getzloff, Pat Maroon. Ryan Kessler. And so I, th I think the ants, and then like you, you love Sidney Crosby, who's doesn't come only comes to town like twice a year, you know what I mean? Or McDavid. So I would say it's very difficult that th there's a list of favorite players and they're all in that list. There's a question for you. Oh yeah. Modern hockey cards. Yep. Uh, I would, I mean, you, I think you'd have a better answer than me DM. The most underrated player on your Kings team? Mm hmm Ooh, If you would have to go, depending on, like, your years, but the most underrated player for the Kings team who just never got talked about mm. and was shouted over was Luke Robitaille. Okay. I'd say yeah, Bernie I mean, Nichols. He had all the shadow on him. Yeah, Luke I mean. Luke Robitaille really, he was your most underrated player, I think. Would you compare it to like when Gretzky was with the Oilers and some of the other Oiler players were a bit over? Yeah, like because Gretzky has that big star power, so it shatters over the rest of your team. Yeah. So like when Gretzky was on the Oilers, you take like your Jari Curry's or your Mark Messier's. Mm -hmm. So they had to leave to become the stars that they are. Yeah. So like yeah, when Gretzky leave, you see more and more Luke Robitaille. So it's same great with answer. Justin Brown, another good example. Yeah, because like with the, I'd say the recent glory years of the Kings, right? You know, I think all kind of even Kopey, uh, you know, Drew Doughty, Quick, um, you know, um, Brown, Alec Martinez, you know, like that. That was they were all like nobody was like too superstarish. I mean, Kopey's amazing, Doughty's amazing, but they're not mm -hmm. like the marquee names you hear about all the time, like you know yeah. McDavid, Matthews, you know Crosby, those guys. What's definitely? Oh, do we lose perks? You thanks for coming. Uh, it's been a great, great time. Did I? I, oh, you're good. Wi Fi today, let me tell you. <laughs> I'm looking forward to years of good conversation. Hey, I noticed right? that. What, yeah, yes, yeah, you put that uh short out today, CCB, of uh, the Crosby goal, which I was going to bring up to uh, hoser cards of that angle goal. I watched that video today. That's one of the most disgusting goals I've seen. Hmm. Oh, shout out to my Oh, you're live, Nordique. Nordique. Yeah, he lives you are live, my life. friend. We were talking about the Nordiques earlier. Yes, we were. Oh, That's Jay's Mix. Mix. What's going on, dude? What's up, Alex? Thanks for coming, man. Uh, Vogs did ask, favorite hockey movie, favorite hockey moment you, you have seen live? Strange, true. Strange yeah, Strange Brew. Brew, hands down. Yeah. Uh, uh, favorite for, hockey movie I've seen live? Mm. For me, it's Miracle because I'm a, I love Herb Brooks just as being a coach. He was one of the most okay. inspirational coaches that there was. All right. Goon was also great. Love Goon. Goon. Yes. Yeah. Goon was great. Goon was shot favorite at the arena I played in. Oh, okay. In Halifax? Favorite oh, hockey. Yeah. Oh, yeah. wow. Really? Yep. Um, no way. So, so a couple of my teammates actually are in the movie as Thanks, extras Jace. on the ice. Appreciate it, them. brother. Wow. That's funny. So it's pretty cool. Oh, Mighty Ducks is a great movie, Papa. You know it. You know Lady it. Sith turned me on Ducks to fly action. together, baby. Slap shot. Oh, did she really? Yeah. Oh, that's sweet. What about favorite moment uh, live? That's a tough one for me. Yeah. Like in, in the arena? Has, 
Yeah, an arena. Yep. I would, that's tough, man. I mean, I tell you, like the 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 worst moment was uh, was a triple overtime to get to the west west to ooh, get to the final yeah, yeah. against the Blackhawks. <laughs> oh and the Blackhawks man, beat them to keep, to end the series and go forward. That was difficult. I would have to say seeing uh, it's between seeing Crosby um, in 2009 in the playoffs against the Wings um, when they beat the Wings or I went to the Winter Classic with my wife at Michigan Stadium and uh, that game did go to overtime and it snowed all day. So it's between kind of those two, I would say. Um, I don't know, a lot of great hockey moments. Um, Yeah. I got to see Crosby's first ever QMJHL game. Oh, nice. Oh, wow. Risky. And then I got to see Team Canada get to the semifinals. Woo! Last nice. year, we had the Skybox. Oh, Mike Ramsey, eh, bud? That's cool. I had a I had a friend who worked at Honda Center, and I had surprised Lady Sith with some tickets. And, right, Lady Sith, that was the New Year's Eve game. And this is before we became season ticket holders. So I took Lady Sith to the game. This And this is the first year we're together. Lady Sith and I have now have been together 10 years, but this is the first year of dating. And um, we're sitting down, and my friend at Honda Center said, you guys are going to be on the kiss cam, right? So <laughs> I turned to the to this random stranger next to me, and I said, like, you see that cam up there? We're going to be on it in a minute. She's like, what? Next thing you know, Lady Sith and I are on kiss cam, right? Right up there at the big Honda Center. And it was awesome. That was fun. No way. Yeah. She remembers the team against the Washington Capitals. Look at that. She was so happy. She was crying with joy on the way to the to the. Arena. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Or maybe it was the Sharks. She said. <laughs> she doesn't mind. Dang. I'll, okay. I'll show you some photos backstage, but. Another... Nordic, that's amazing. Oh, what did he say? Oh, Theo uh, he watched, nice. yeah, Theo Fleury. Yep. And then CCB World Cup of Hockey. That's great. Yep. I got to see Jordan Eberle's first game at Rexall Center. So that was pretty oh, nice. cool, too. Nice. Yeah. I mean, I was stoked to see Connor McDavid, Crosby, all those guys come to town. I mean, Lady Sith does an impersonation of me because I'm all like, Connor McDavid. Like, she, <laughs> she does that all the time because I was so hyped on McDavid, right? Like, to this day, she still mimics me. Yeah, Capitals Just six. Some well. great, yeah. great hockey memories that, that only hockey bros would understand. You know, for sure, hundred yeah. percent, man. And then you got your twenty dollar beers. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know about there, but I was always having to drive I, there. I man. stay away from that. <laughs> it, I stay was, away from that. <laughs> it was a bit rough because, like, here the traffic's so terrible that, like, to, yeah, if we knew we had like a six o'clock, seven o'clock game. We would leave at like three o'clock from Anaheim. Well, from where we are, 29 miles away. We'd get there an hour and a half before the doors even open up, right? Oof. Because if you leave later, you're stuck in the traffic. Man. So we're literally just sitting in the yeah. car, like like listening to the radio for like an hour and a half. Then doors open up and then the game's not even started. You're like meandering around. You're like merch shopping like and like three times a week, right? With season tickets. And then like, when the game's over, you're wow. sitting in the parking lot waiting for the thing to empty out too. So like, you know, like it was, a uh, Oh yeah. Like for hours. I knew that our season yeah. tickets were over when we start, we started leaving at the, after the second period, you know, and we would listen oh. to the end of the game on the way home. Cause it was just, yeah, it started yeah. where like, I felt like I was a player, like, <laughs> and I was like, you know, we need to be at home now. Cause we did that for like three years and we had old dogs that needed our attention. So. Now we just for sure. It. No, that's a grind, man. When you got to yeah. wait that long in traffic, especially out by you guys, I know yeah. that you guys get hit pretty hard with traffic out there. That's for sure. And then they LA's no all joke of our for favorite that. players, you know, Perry gone, Maroon gone, Kessler retire, Getzloff retire. So for sure, yes. for sure. Yeah, that takes a little steam out of the sales, right? It's funny no doubt about now, it. I'll put the Ducks game on now and. Lady Sith is like, who the hell are these players? Like, there was a time when we knew the Ross was talking about. She's like, who's Ross Johnston? You know, just like, uh, watch out for Mason, Mason McTavish. He's going to yeah. be a beast. Great player. He's we'll going to be Lucas Dostal. Yeah. Yeah. Zegris. Yep. Mr. Showboat. Yeah. Doing you know, the Michigan all the time. 
I'm surprised Rocky. Fowler and Silverberg are still there. I mean, those are like the holdouts from when we were still going. Yeah, I remember when Fowler got drafted. What a great yeah. player. Just an incredible d- defenseman, but offensive yep. and his skating. He's just great. I'm, su- I'm surprised he hasn't been moved either, to be honest with you. It, it, it's very rare you see a, a big D-man like that uh, staying on a team where they're really going through a couple rebuilds and – but you um, gotta, not moving on and you got to keep some of those veterans to teach the for sure too. you have to yeah that's what that's what's kind of nice about watching chicago and having like you said you know earlier in the show about perry going mm-hmm. um is that he he was surrounded by a couple good vets there and yeah felino and uh felino is is one of the better ones for sure um to kind of teach him and bring him along the way right you kind of need that especially being so young. I mean, he's only 18, so. It's a shame that uh, Taze isn't there because Taze would have been the best one to learn from for him, yeah. especially. Yeah. Uh-huh. Especially the two. He's probably going to retire. Games. Yeah, it's a shame. I don't I see him coming back. I'd like to yeah. see him go out on his own. I don't own see time. him coming back. Yeah, me too. I don't see him coming back. I'm surprised the Ducks still have Gibby. You know, I mean, it's. I think it's time to move mm-hmm. him and let Dostal kind of have his run. Yep. Yep. I got a nice little – Small set of uh, Lucas right now. Just been <laughs> coming up on him a little bit, so it's been nice. The real question, Sid, is how many long boxes do you have? <laughs> that, that's not all of them, Aiden. Well, the, the room is epic. in shambles, literally. <laughs> that's the clean portion of the room. <laughs> but, you know. Oh, I, re- I remember that game, CCB. I mean, if you just want I remember like, that game. Within arm's reach, I just got comics, you know. Woo! Fantastic Four, Black look Panthers. at this. Second Black Panther's appearance. Lord Thundering. <laughs> I love it. Oh, it's all going to come crashing down. That I might have. Uh, yeah, I'll talk about this old stuff right here. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. I have a, uh, speaking of real quick, I know this is a hockey show. I know it is, but I got a uh, Shazam Superman and um, <sighs> Black Adam comic all on. They're all on oh, the cover. Nice. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. It's an old one. It's one of my oldest ones. I, I do. Love yeah, Vogs for sure. Yeah. Oh, Vintage is great. Well, what do you say, Dan? You want to get backstage and thank all these people for coming out yeah. or what? All yeah. right. Let's do it. Three here. So. We've been popping. Chat still rocking with 16. Yeah. Thanks, yep. everyone. Nice. Yeah, Monday. thanks, everybody. And remember, I know. As always, make sure you check everyone out. Everyone has yeah. rights now, so yep. you can all subscribe and comment on everyone. Make a lot sure of great channels here. This man. Or yes. Here. Thanks for having me on, fellas. I can't do it right. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Yeah, cards. yeah, go sub to <laughs> Hoser Cards. He's always popping out content, always ripping packs. And then for Saturday, um, he does Spine Ticks. It's absolutely amazing show. A lot of great people. I know you guys, uh, a lot that's in here already know each other, but appreciate everyone coming out, having a good time. You guys are awesome. Um, yeah, Zach, for sure, brother. Can't wait. Yeah, Zach and uh, thanks, Sensei Domino. Appreciate you, brother. We have Zach Friday. Thanks, babe. And then- Appreciate you. Next next Friday, I think this guy may be coming back. <laughs> you gonna let me come Let's back? Let's go. I think he might be coming back. Of course, man. You have cards to show. <laughs> you have cards to show. The I people it, need to see. You guys, uh, I had a great time. <laughs> Fantastic time. The live chat was awesome. A lot thanks. of friends in here. Yeah. And uh just th- thanks for and thanks for welcoming Lady Sith here, my wife, my life into the chat, you know. She's Thanks, always Mom. Welcome. Appreciate you tuning in. Thanks, guys. Everyone have a Appreciate great you guys. Everyone have a great night. We'll see you on Friday. Appreciate it. You guys mean a lot to us. That's for sure. Later.